And this was the part I always tell people is, number one, that season was so cluttered and chaotic for all of us because we hadn't won like that before. We were all dealing right. with new problems over the course of that year. Like, I'll never forget coming right. back from break during bowl season and having people waiting at the gate when we got off the plane. I didn't even know you could still do that post 9-11. <laughs> And waiting, waiting for us at the gate with like football helmets and memorabilia to sign inside they, like, of the airport. Bought tickets and gone through security to meet you. They had to have because, like, again, even at like, South Bend Small shit. Airport, this is post nine eleven security. You can't smoke in the airport and say goodbye to your relatives at the gate at that point. So, <laughs> all that to illustrate, like. Shit changed very rapidly for all of us. And, like, Manti just wasn't a guy I was that close with in the locker room. So, for me, when I heard, yeah, he had some long-distance girlfriend who he would, like, you know, do the fall asleep on the phone with thing at night that people did. I was like, all right, like, if, if you want to do that, be my guest, man. Like, I've never, I've never met this girl. All we heard was the same thing everyone else was, which, you know, he, like, met her out in one of the West Coast trips when we played Stanford or SC. And, you know, life went on. I was like, all right, like, if that's what you want to do, go ahead. You're not one of my close friends. I'm not really going to look into this any more than I need to. And then when we got the news that, you know, Manti's very real grandmother had passed away. And then on that right. same day, <laughs> Lene had reportedly passed away. It was just like when any of our other teammates had suffered a loss. You know, you rallied around him. I remember Manti bringing it up at the end of practice that day. And Coach Kelly kind of let him say a couple of words to the team. And, you know, we all just, you know, tried to be there for our teammate. We'd had a bunch of guys, unfortunately, who had lost older relatives or lost parents while I was there. And so it was something that is not without precedent. And, you know, any locker room or any friend group. But then from there, what it became media-wise with the coverage there, what a focus it was for him versus what it was for us on a day-to-day -day who – I was where I mean, week two of that season, I got sat down and basically told if my play didn't improve, I wasn't going to be starting anymore. So I had other shit I was worried about right. other than what college game day wanted to do stories on when they came. So I, I would say that is always the thing that stuck out for me is we were aware of it. We were sensitive to it in the ways that we thought we needed to be as teammates, but it didn't preoccupy the locker room the way, especially in this documentary, it made it seem like it preoccupied everything else. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's sort of what I was wondering is like how much of this is a convenient narrative too for the doc, I think. Yeah, I mean it's a good reminder that this was a document like this was a documentary that Manti, I, I'd imagine, had a pretty clear hand in. Like, we remember Don Van Nott at ESPN was doing a backstory piece on this for ESPN that was supposed to feature Manti, and they said publicly that Manti, you know, pulled out of that at the last minute. And so that lost a lot of steam, and Manti in this one had the chance to make sure that he felt like his version of events was represented here. Yeah. And you've seen, like, it was very effective PR because online, I mean, the Q rating for... Manti and the way people look back at that, which in general is a good reminder that dogpiling on people and getting jokes off right. at all costs the way we do with athletes in a lot of circumstances probably isn't the coolest thing in the world and can have a pretty negative impact on people. Right. But this was a documentary that was very much told from his vantage point and really it felt like his vantage point alone.